So the community is rallying around a Mainville staple after a fire. We covered this, of course, yesterday. Businesses across the tri-state, though, have offered whatever support they can for the Monkey Bar and Grill. And WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian shares how the owners are responding and when they plan to reopen. Right now, there's caution tape surrounding the Monkey Bar and Grill and signs like this one, letting customers know it's closed to the public after this week's fire. But employees are already here, getting this patio ready to reopen to customers as soon as next weekend. It's been a whirlwind. But Mark and Amy Altemeyer say this isn't their first rodeo. Recovering from a fire is new, but rethinking how to operate their business isn't. It kind of reminds me of when we had COVID and um, we had to like restart and rethink everything right. again. They had the support of the community then and it's clear they have it now from comments on Facebook like this one saying sending prayers for you all. If there's anything we as a community can do to help, just say the word. Heard from well, Montgomery and I've heard from Firehouse Grill. I believe it is in Blue Ash. Silver Spring House brought lunch by for everyone Thursday and many more businesses are offering meals and anything they can do to help including cartridge brewing. It's about two and a half miles down the bike trail from Monkey Bar and Grill. We decided to do a um, complimentary meal and beer or as long as they're over 21 or any beverage every day through the end of May. We just know that everyone very caring. We already knew that, but this just proves it. It's clean up, yeah. clean up and rebuild. As the Altemeyers and their employees work to do just that, they're also working to prepare for the busy summer season. We always um, hire a lot of people around the summer year, so we're still doing interviews. We're training still hiring. And training all next week. They say they're hoping to have the downstairs bar and patio up and running next weekend. Then they'll get to work on the balcony. And finally, the kitchen, where all the fire damage is. In Mainville, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.